What's up guys, official Phone Rebel here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to return your Galaxy S3 to stock official ice cream sandwich firmware 4.0.4. This will unroot your device and remove any traces of ever rooting it. And yes, this will work on any Verizon, Sprint, AT&T, or T-Mobile version Galaxy S3. And the reason you'd want to do this is to either send your phone in for repair, or if you just want to use a clean, unrooted device. Yes, this will work on international Galaxy S3s, however not all versions will be supported, and if you want to check if your device is supported, go ahead and read about it down below in the video description. And I gotta say, it did take me quite a while to find a way that would work on most devices. It will work on every carrier here in the USA, so no worries about that. And you guys will need to download a different firmware file for every different carrier. Now, depending if you're sending in your S3 for repair or not, you may or may not lose all of your data. So make sure to back up anything you need just in case. But go ahead and plug in your S3 to your computer, and we're gonna transfer a file to our S3. Now, depending on which carrier you have, you will download a different file for every single one so check down below in the description there will be a link to my guide where you can find all the downloads you need so you will need to download your stock rom either for at&t sprint verizon or t-mobile or international versions there is a different version for every single one and it's going to look just like this once you download it you want to extract the two files that are inside and then go ahead and plug in your s3 now go ahead and drag in the files into the storage of your choice i'm going to do internal and there may be more than two files depending on which carrier you have just make sure to transfer all of the files from the .zip folder that you downloaded. And the rest of this tutorial takes place on your Galaxy S3. You will need to pay for one app called Mobile Odin. It does cost $5 and I would recommend getting the official version from the Play Store unless you do want to pirate it, but I don't really recommend that. However, once you have bought it and downloaded it, go ahead and open it up. And once you're inside, we're going to select Open File and we're going to open from our internal SD card and select the file we downloaded. Select OK and then we're going to scroll down and select Flash Firmware continue continue and here it's going to do a signature check if you want to do this you can I would recommend it however for the sake of this video I'm going to skip it and the flashing will begin now this could take a little bit depending on which firmware you have however just give it a couple minutes and I'll be right back and eventually your s3 will reboot back into ice cream sandwich 4.0.4 you'll set it up and you will be on the stock ice cream sandwich firmware now the last thing left to do is to unroot our device so you want to find super user go ahead and open it up go to settings and you want to scroll down and select full unroot. Select continue and it'll go ahead and fully unroot your device. And the last thing left to do is to delete any app associated with rooting. So Mobile Odin, if you try to open it, just to show you I'm not rooted, it gives me an error and it doesn't work. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this app. And if you guys really do want to do a factory reset, then this is how to do it. And also for those of you that may have gotten stuck on the booting logo, this will also fix that for you. It happened to me and doing a factory reset actually fixed it. So you'll want to make sure your Galaxy S3 is off and we're going to hold the volume up, the home and the power button all at the same time. So go ahead and do that. And you can let go after you see the Samsung logo. It will take you to the recovery menu and you'll want to scroll down using the volume down button and select wipe data slash factory reset and go ahead and select the power button, scroll down and select yes. This will take just a second. Afterwards, you will want to select reboot system now and reboot your system. And there you go. My Galaxy S3 has finished rebooting. Now, if you guys had any boot errors, that factory reset we did was supposed to fix them all. And I do appreciate you guys watching this video. I do hope I helped you guys unroot your Galaxy S3 on any carrier. I would appreciate it if you liked and favorited this video. Leave a comment if you guys have any questions and subscribe for many more Android videos to come. Enjoy your unrooted device guys. Peace.